now. Put his stupid face on. And his stupid, stupid uniform. And maybe take a knee for half a second. Because I need the help. Also, do you want to save? I do. I do. Conversation with me. <laughs> Just say. Snake, have you seen the movie Them? No. It's about these giant ants that appear in the desert of New Mexico after a nuclear test. The army tries to fight them off with flamethrowers. The ants were so big that they filled up the entire screen. The whole movie theater was screaming. Hmm, an ant that big could make a good meal. Yeah, well, if you find any, don't eat them. Come on, they're not that bad for you. If you end up growing huge like that, you won't have any place left to hide. Just like a girl who gone. What? Sorry, what? <laughs> now you can go torment that room full of scientists and no one can stop me. <laughs> I cannot believe that those scientists were ruining my life. Like they were. <sighs> My God. Okay. Do I do anything cool in this uniform? Like... But where the fuck am I going? Okay. Your Rykov disguise is complete. Now they won't stop you no matter what you do. Even if I punch someone in the face? Right. Really? Really. Why? Rykov's just that kind of guy. Uh -huh. Oh, they shouldn't have told me that. Once you're disguised as Rykov, you can get into the West Wing where Sokolov is being held. To get to the entrance to the west wing, pass west through the main wing of the weapons lab and go through the connecting passageway. You can get into the main wing of the weapons lab from the southwest side of the second floor. They should have told to me that! Wing. That's a lot of stretching. Time for revenge! Time for revenge! Although he will look suspicious if you walk like this, because he definitely don't walk like that. Oh, 100%. Look at him. Maybe just a little bit more health. Just a little.
turn my space heater back on. Whoops. Should we see what Raiden looks like when he when he throws up? Oh, come on! Let me punch him in the face! I did it. I mean, why wouldn't you just keep the mask on? You know? You can count on me. What about the philosopher's legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you? Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? Nothing, I swear it. No one but the Colonel knows of the legacy. I see. No, don't. Oh. It's kind of a nasty sound she made. <sighs> the CIA. Hi, Seal. What are you doing here? I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me, the Shagahods. <laughs> exactly. The final preparations for phase two are complete. Sokolov, what exactly is Phase 2? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium-range ballistic missiles. That was... okay. Now, how about explain it to me like I'm a baby? The Shagahod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohog to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase 2. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohog. So how'd you do it? By accelerating the Shagohog itself. Accelerating it. In phase two, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles? He's going to repeat every single thing he says. That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. 
Not only that, with the Shagohard, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress, capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. They pause when, sh when saying Shagohod like there's an inside joke I'm unaware of. A completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Volkin is planning to mass produce them based on that prototype. And deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Maybe it's a drinking game? Yes. And that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even We're worse, all drunk he now. He intends to use the Shagohad as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. Plus, I have a hangover. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a cold war. I'd be kissing the old porcelain throne. Side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohard goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end, and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohard will be at the center of it all. So you see, it's already too late. No. It's not too late. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. <laughs> All right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow. Oh, I got this. Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. He does look good in this uniform. C3. <coughs> you mean that cutting edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy. Oh, I was. Oh, was okay. Yeah, it was stolen. Eva. Not. No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Vulcan's lover. Not the armory I blew up. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh, no. She is Vulcan's lover. This is my lover. Please stop using the term Who lover. Are they? My wife and daughter. They're in America. Be be beautiful. Now I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. So pretty. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the virtuous mission then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. <sighs> no. I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me, Sokolov! Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the gulags. What about I... the US? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there. But even if I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. 
I am still a weapon scientist. To be honest with you, I'm tired. Every day I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. The tools of politicians. Then I wingless. All I wanted to do was build space rockets. But it was not to be. The space race between America and Russia became the prey of politicians. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are always being used. Please, watch over my family. If I knew what they looked like. Uh-oh. Put the mask on. Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. <laughs> Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. You think you can fool me? You're sorely mistaken. I know the Major better than anyone else. I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? But a greasy freebooter. This fairy disguise. It's gonna rub off on you. And then you'll lose sight of who you really are. Stay out of this. Oh, shit. See why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. Loser. He and I developed it together. Splendid. I'll take it from here. Are you going to kill him? <sighs> of course. But first. I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. <laughs>
Couldn't you have just taken his pill to pretend like he was dead? So I noticed there was a number on the posted on the board behind the scientist, and I really want to fucking use it to call and see if it does anything. But I guess I'll save for the inevitable hour-long cutscene. Tell me. <gasps> Stop it! Who have you been talking to? He doesn't know what you're talking about. You better start talking. Please. Oh, I'm naked. Ah! I'm snaking. Who is Khrushchev's lapdog? I'm snaking. Do this to him. I know you gave the data to someone. Never do it. You. Like Wait, who's the girl? Is that? <laughs> I guess he's dead. <laughs> Still got stamina, though. Now then. Entertaining than he was. Oh. But first, let's take a look at your body, shall we? You're a tough one, my friend. A lesser man would be dead by now. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. Well then, let's get started. What is your target? Oh. Is it the Shagohad? <laughs> or Sokolov? Or maybe it's the Legacy? <laughs> Answer me! Who is helping you? Who let you in here? <laughs> You're a tough one. Even you must have your limits. And I am a patient man. Uh. Oh. Here's where the fun really begins. Carries an electric charge of ten million volts. Let's see how you like this. Now answer me. How much does the CIA know? They're after my legacy. Aren't they? Your real target is the philosopher's legacy, isn't it? It's no use. He's not going to talk. He's been trained not to break. Trained by me. Admit it! We're after the location of the legacy! The 
secret fund established by the three great powers during the two world wars. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? One hundred billion dollars, divided up and hidden all over the world. And you're looking for a record of where all that money is hidden, right? No matter. The Philosopher's legacy is safely in my possession. God, his eyes are twitching out. Plasnikat. You'll never live. What's this? A transmitter? Who's responsible for this? I am. I planted it on him to keep track of his movements. Why? So the Cobras could ambush him. If they knew where he was gonna be, they wouldn't have gotten themselves <laughs> slaughtered. Pains me to do this, boss, but under the circumstances, I'm afraid I must ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not that, but he is your apprentice. What do you want me to do? Let's see. Cut out his eyes. I don't like those blue eyes of his. There's nothing more important to a soldier than his eyes. You made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Yes, it'll make for a touching display. He's all yours. Do it! Ruin him, just as he did the Cobras. What is it, Tanya? He suffered enough. Well, well. Why are you protecting him? That smell. Tatiana, you're the spy. What are you talking about? I know that smell. Stop it! Taking a fancy tour, eh, Ocelot? No. I have no interest in this woman. I want to test her. I'll let this be the judge. Do as you like. Satisfied now? <laughs> well, that was refreshing. <laughs> Come, we're going to my room. <sighs> 
So you survived the Colonel's torture, eh? Watching this has made me realize something. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It's the ultimate form of expression. <laughs> You got lucky this time, Tatiana. Run. Bruh. That was on the wall in the fucking office. I've prepared an escape route for us. Go out and head west. Pass underneath the connecting passageway and go north. You'll find an open manhole there. You're no, quiet. My open manhole. Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the north end of the sewers is unlocked. You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. Eva. But I can't get too close to your cell. You'll have to figure a way out of there yourself. <laughs> I'll be in touch. Told me to run and then shot me in my the main artery in my thigh. <laughs> oh, they banished me up. That was nice of them. Got my fork. Um, thanks for the thanks for the bat. Did it go through the wall? I know he was pretty happy about that, wasn't he? do my squats for the day. They bandaged everything but my leg. That was nice of them. Oh my god, can I get this out? Oh my god! Get that bullet out with that fork! My tran- A transmitter? Get that out of there! What the hell y'all need to- Look at me for. Oh God. I got you. <laughs> oh my God! It's under the. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Oh, <clears throat> oh 
okay. Oh no! Wasn't it? <laughs> Time to eat. Why are you so happy? He peed on my bat? Well, that's fucking rude. <laughs> Does he have to see me die? Gonna smoke this cigarette and stare at you. <laughs> They'll never know. Can't eat in here? Oh. <laughs> Who's the guy that sneezed? going. He's gonna be surprised when you stab him with a fork. Chow time. Where'd he go? What's going on here? Frog. <coughs> oh, he totally saw me. Oh no. Ah! He's gonna get he's gonna go get help, right? Did you manage to escape? Yeah. Yeah, I'm out. Be careful. In your present state, you're practically naked. Practically. You don't have a single decent weapon, and you'll never survive in a. I have a fork. Take some time and pull yourself together. Eva says she's recovered your equipment, so rendezvous with her as soon as possible to get your gear back. Use the escape route Eva set up for you. Go down into the sewers through the manhole in the northwest section of Groznygrad. 
Start out by exiting the holding cells and heading northwest. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Let me try out this signal. It's one four four seven five. Interesting. Snake, what do you have in your hand? A fork. Fork? Why? A fork? What'd you do with your knife? It ain't dinner time yet. Sigint, you have to think bigger than that. A fork's good for more than just eating dinner. Oh, yeah? Like what? It's a weapon. A weapon? Yeah, I can use it with the weapon button the same way I use the survival knife. Of course, it's not going to be much use for CQC. This mission is all about procuring on site. I have to use whatever limited equipment I can find any way I can to achieve my objective. So I have to make the most out of every item by adapting them to different situations. Why are you judging me? I have no Take weapons. Take this fork, for instance. At first glance, it looks useless, but it can be an effective weapon if used the right way. You have to learn to think flexibly and see all the different possibilities. Think flexibly, huh? Thanks for the advice, man. No problem. They ran out of sports. And the sports. best part is, if I use this to spear a snack, I can eat it right there without having to put it in my backpack first. I knew it. You are using it to eat. I feel like... Those, uh... Oh, God. I feel like those directions would be more helpful if, like, I had a goddamn compass. Is there anything good in here? <gasps> oh, it was just an act? A prisoner's escape. Cool. This is not where I want to be. I've got us the spork. Who's saying damn it? Is that him? Oh my god, everybody's here. doesn't do that anymore? Okay. I literally just got bandaged up. Why am I? He's right there. This whole like, oh my god, just get up, up that way. I 
don't know what that was. that work? Normal difficulty. <laughs> Come, in. This is HQ. Come in, HQ! We got a man in a manhole! We've lost the enemy. Enter high alert. We don't know what to do! I don't even think I can cure myself, can I? Suffering from a deep cut. Shit. Hi, Chug. Nothing here. Oh, fuck. He said to go southeast, or he said to go northeast. Get out of this alert first. Just gonna wait the fifteen seconds. Good, then go away. Understood. Return to your position. Go the fuck away.
shoot that? I haven't even made it out yet. Without weapons or equipment, you're not going to be able to continue your mission. No shit. I've got all your belongings with me. Let's meet up outside the fortress. There's an open manhole in the northwestern section of the fortress. You can use it to get down into the sewers and make your way out of Grozniograd. To get to the manhole, go under the passageway leading to the west wing and head north. It won't be long before Volgan and his men notice you're gone. Get to the manhole before they find you. Does she realize how many manholes there are? I'm supposed to be way the fuck over there. I mean, it's random. Oh, no. Well, oh, well. I thought it would have been better if they didn't know where the hell I was. I have been having a time. I have been having a time. No, I'm not. You don't fucking know that. <coughs> Where the fuck am I now?
Well, it certainly won't be this one, Toast Man. I don't even care if he fucking sees me. Fuck that guy. Fuck this nerd, too. Why doesn't it work? I... Going this way. The backwards four kit. I'm just, I just doing my best, the best that I can. God damn it. Am I? Okay. Bye forever, Subi! I mean, honestly, what's more terrifying? You having an AK and shooting it at a grown man who's just running towards you and not stopping? Or someone with an actual weapon? Oh no, are the dogs here? God. Oh god, no, doggy! No! Go to sleep! already in the sewers I mean already. Uh, yeah I just got down here hmm. I'm coming to meet you now the door at the north end is open right uh, snake let me guess there's a problem yeah what is it this time the colonel found out you escaped okay did, uh, who cares figured as much yeah and now all of Grozny Grad is on red alert just my luck but once I'm out of the fortress you can't get out the okay. fuck I can't! When the fortress went on red alert, they sealed off the sewers. You've got to be kidding me. I'm serious. And that means the escape route I laid out is... is sealed off, too. Right. And they just sent a unit out looking for you. Down here? Uh-huh. They'll be there any minute now. You've got to get out quick. But isn't the exit sealed off? You should be able to get out by heading straight north. Book it, Snake. If they find you, you're dead. Are you fucking serious? This bitch. Which way is north?
turning around. Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. My God. What is happening? Okay, but what's in this door? Shit. I've been waiting for this. Nobody interfere. Not the evil Cody Rhodes. Oh shit, he does kind of look like a no This is where it ends. I'll try. <laughs> Can't really breathe right now, though. But why? Like you, I too am filled with sadness. This 
world is one of sadness. Battle brings death. Death brings sorrow. The living. And then this became Mads Mickelson. <laughs> That's anime as fuck. Don't think I need the fork right now. <laughs> Death Stranding prequel confirmed. what this dude's deal is. They hold me down. Okay. I fucking don't remember. I mean, I do need the fork. Oh, fuck the fork. And I. I don't remember what you do to him. Get away from me! I don't remember. Oh, the fish. <laughs> what if I just drown?
What else do I have in here? Don't fucking remember. Is this a torch? Not the book. Fish hurt me. I know it's something dumb, though. Wow, that doesn't help. Ah! I know it's really stupid. And I can't remember what it is. hurt me. All the ghosts are hurting me. Can I just turn around and leave? Oh no, it doesn't let you. Do I have... I'm trying to waste my fucking bullets when I know I don't think they work. Oh my god, this fucking group of dudes. I don't know why my chat keeps resetting tonight. TNT Claymore. <laughs> I have two mouse traps.
it goes. Excuse me. I think. I think I remember now. <laughs> because if you actually are good at the game, nothing tries to kill you, right? Oh, did you say something? Because my chat reset. I didn't see anything that you said. Okay. I saw... I saw... Daniel's tagging you, but I didn't see what you said. Ah! Fucking hell. Anti-Sam this fight is because these are literally the ghosts of everyone you killed. If you didn't kill anyone, it'd be completely empty here in a straight walk. Yeah. I, I just remembered. Okay, so... The first time I did this... There was a lot more here! <laughs> Kill that bird, fuck you. Yeah, that's what it, that's what they were saying. Uh, I actually I don't remember seeing the bird, so coffee. Man, that's a lot of dudes. I didn't kill all these fish though. Why the hell are fish trying to kill me? If you call your friends here, they all like you're dead. They act like you're dead. Man, he was just waiting for me to like come into purgatory, wasn't he? Who the fuck was that fast running fucker? why you can't like swim huh because you'd be going too fast Hitting 
continue puts you in an infinite loop. So no matter what, like his body is just gonna wreck me. suck to go into the afterlife with glasses. Just saying. <laughs> that guy got killed by a vulture. That wasn't even me. I was going to drown. But getting the camo would be cool. Ah! Kept you waiting, huh? It's the ghost of a condor. <laughs> He's just sleeping on the river. Oh, is that the guy who slit his throat? Whoops. My bad. It looks like these guys are like trying to flip. Did you kill Johnny's grandpa? I... I... I don't know. I didn't think I did. How the hell am I supposed to know? I tell you what, I didn't kill any of these fucking fish. I didn't. Boss, you have to shoot me. I can't. Shoot me. You want to finish your mission, don't you? Then you'll have to shoot me. <sighs> the spirit of the warrior will always be with you. Don't be sad. Get glad. Kill 
Ultimate Warrior's ghost shows up. We definitely have wrestling fans here. Snake, are you all right? That was a close call. What the hell happened to me? You were halfway drowned at the bottom of the river. Almost crossed over to the other side. Other side? So that really was... Something on your mind, Snake? Major, was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? Yes, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the boss. What kind of man was he? The Sorrow was a man with... Well, special powers. He had ESP, which was the subject of extensive research in the Soviet Union at the time. He was especially gifted as a medium. A medium? Someone who can communicate with the spirit world and evoke the spirits of the dead. In other words, he could talk to ghosts. They say he could find out what was going on in a battle by talking to dead soldiers. What about him and the boss? What was the story between them? I don't know the details. Why don't we ask Sigurd? Yo! I finished checking up on this Sorrow guy a while ago. Thought you guys already knew, though. Knew what? That he's dead. He's been dead for two years now. Died two years ago? At Salino Yarsk. You know, those cliffs you were at. And the boss is the one who did him in. The boss? Yep. Two years ago, the boss was sent by the CIA on a secret mission to Salino Yarsk. That's when she met the Sorrow, who'd gone back to the Soviet Union after the Cobras broke up at the end of the war. Except this time they were enemies. And then what? The boss killed the Sorrow herself and accomplished her mission. At least, that's what the records say. So, he was never there in the first place. He just couldn't let go of the boss. You okay, Snake? Yeah, I'm fine. It looks like it's not time for me to die yet. I sure hope not. Otherwise, the whole mission is shot. We're counting on you, pal. Roger that. Except for all those other times earlier tonight when I died. A shit ton. Eva? Snake, you didn't call. I was worried. Are you alright? I was fucking busy. Yeah, I took a pretty Getting trophies. I was busy what getting trophies. Now? Nothing. Forget it. Let's just say I'm back. Good. But how did you escape from the sewers? I jumped into the river. From all the way up there? You're out of control. I kind of yeah, slipped, so. I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. Great. That's perfect. What? What do you mean that's perfect? I mean, if you ended up in the river, then I know a good spot nearby. Oh. Let's meet up there. Where is it? Keep going upstream until you get to a waterfall. <laughs> you almost drowned, but do you remember what tomorrow is? Right. Rose, probably. <laughs> There's a cave. We'll meet in there. The cave behind the waterfall upstream. Got it. See you there. I need one of those. Oh my god, stop it. Yeah. Yeah. You almost got me killed. Fuck you. 